everyone. Today's video, we're going to be showing you a typical day here in the greenhouse at Bradwood Farm. We're going to do some cleaning, some planting, some seeding. Hope you enjoyed the video. So I have some lettuce here that needs to be planted into the channels. It's been in the nursery uh, for about a week or so. So I'm going to get them in the channels here. So I have my oasis cubes. And as you saw in previous videos, I always break apart between different types of cultivars. And I break the oasis cubes apart. And they fit really nicely into the channels here. I have a habit of keeping my seedlings upside down it's easier to pull them apart when they get a little bit bigger when the leaves get a little in intertwined Okay, make sure you get your emitter in every time. So you may be wondering what I'm planting here. This is a red and green oak leaf. I put two seeds into each hole of the oasis cube. Okay, you can see after I washed all the channels, they're all bunched up here. What I like to do when I seed is push them all back down to the other end. And I like to keep them a little farther apart because these edges are really sharp and I have a habit of hitting my hands on them and getting cut. So, little safety concern. Now this is Tropicana. It's a longer leaf lettuce that grows fairly quickly here in the summertime. I've had really good luck with it, except for that guy. Really good luck with it this summer. Even in the heat that we've had. Want to make sure you get them all the way down to the bottom. Otherwise, the cubes dry out and you kill the little plants. Let the emitter tube drain for a second and stick it on in.
Okay, so right now I'm going to start doing my microgreens. So the first thing I got to do is get my substrate here into my channels. And you have to cut it to size. So I'm going to roll it on in there. Okay, so here's my substrate. I'm going to get it in my channel here. Oops. This comes in multiple sizes. You can get it to fit the wider channels. You can get it to fit seed trays. So you can do this at home. I'm going to do, do two different types of microgreens today, so I'll get two channels ready here. My scissors are very dull. I'm going to get the substrate wet first before I put the seeds on it for the microgreens. And I learned when you're doing the channels here, you got to hold the substrate, otherwise it'll uh, uh, get pulled down. So I'm going back through right now and getting some of those thin spots to make sure everything is covered. Okay, so now that I got my seeds planted in the tray, I'm going to put my uh, drip line into there. As you can see, I have an emitter on the end because if I just let the water run down there, all the seeds will wash down into the return pipe. So we have a 1.5 emitter on there. And I just kind of clip it on. And then the next thing I'm going to do is put the um, channel covers on top because that keeps the algae growth down. Okay, now that I have my seeds planted, like I said, I have to put the covers on to keep the sunlight out so I don't get algae growth. So you just kind of set them up on top. In a couple days, when everything sprouts, you take the channel covers off and they grow for about seven days and you're ready to harvest. So the first tray I did was uh, micro broccoli. Now I'm going to do pea shoots with a little bit bigger seed, so I don't use my... Okay, so I use my nursery channels to wet down the oasis cubes. So I place it in one of the slots. Okay, so I grab the hose off the other side, and you want to wet down the oasis cube thoroughly. You have to make sure it's wet in the middle of the cubes. Otherwise, you won't get good seed germination.
And the way you can tell it's thoroughly wet down is the way the water's floating across the top now. So this pad's totally soaked. Okay, another way I can tell that the pad is totally soaked is how heavy it is. If you pull it out of the water and it's still really light, then you know you didn't get it wet enough. And I try my best to keep my nursery channel covered so I don't get algae growth. Over the years with the oasis cubes I found that you have to keep it in the box and the box closed up because if it gets sunlight on it it does deteriorate. Okay so I keep the seeds in one place that I use for the farm market. What I'm going to see today now is arugula and five star the lettuce spring mix that I use. These, so these I'm going to go put back in the fridge since I'm not going to use them. So you can see my arugula had a germination test date of one of 20 you keep your seeds in the refrigerator like I do. They last a long time. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get my cedar out and my plant tags because they are multi-purpose. One to tell what cultivar I'm planting and another to uh, break the cubes up. I'm going to plant heavy on the arugula this time, probably more than half of this tray because arugula has really been selling well at the farm market. Since this is a multi-seed, I use my cedar. And my plant tag. I drop about 15 to 20 seeds in each cube of this for the arugula. probably see I missed a few seeds. I'll go back and push them into the hole once I get done with this section. So I poured a few too many seeds into my cedar, so I just dumped them back into the bag and save them for next time. So now I'm going to do Five Star, the greenhouse lettuce mix, the spring mix. You can tell they have many different types of lettuces mixed up there. And you can see how little the lettuce seeds are, so that's why when I do the single heads of lettuce, I always buy the pelleted seeds, so much easier to plant.
Okay, so this I planted a few days ago. It germinated here in the headhouse, and now it's ready to go out into the nursery channels in the greenhouse.